All right, let's put this in there somehow underneath all that stuff. Look at all the dirt that's in here. Let's see if I can do this one handed without dropping my camera. Drum looks okay, not damaged. Yeehaw! So this is a, is it a 4,500 pounds? Yeah, there's the name on it. There. This is a 4,500 pound, you can't even see it, 4,500 pound winch. So, I don't know, this thing's probably stuck in the mud. You're probably pretty close to 3,500, 4,000 pounds, just, you know, stuck in the mud. The machine's pretty light, but stuck in the mud, this thing would be pretty, pretty tough to get out. So this is a worn kit comes pre-made, pre-fabbed all for this kit. And the idea of it behind the mount is it doesn't hang off the front of the machine like a big, you know, sore thumb. It actually goes underneath the bumper, which I've taken all the hardware out of, or most of the hardware out of. Uh, I think I put one back in there for the test drive. Mosquitoes are back. Ah. Take the bumper and uh, yeah like these little cube lights are they're awesome they're really bright but when you do an install you should probably have a connector somewhere and not just a green wrapped up wire with no connector anywhere and right back to that conglomeration of nastiness what is that gross gross so we gotta somehow put this thing aside I end up, might end up just cutting those wires because they're kind of in the way there. Yeah, stick her off to the side like that. All right, Let's see if we can get that winch mount mounted in there. So we'll start with this piece first to see if we can stick that beauty in there somehow. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna have to look at some directions here to figure out how to do the rest of this. Freaking mosquitoes. All right, I couldn't take this stupid wire hanging in the way. It's causing problems, I just put some blade connectors on there. Come back and I'll fix it properly with a proper connection. But for now, just so I know where the wires go, that's the way it's gonna be for now. I gotta mount the winch on the winch bracket and we'll stick her in there.
Dios. Alright, take two. Oh, that's heavy. No. Pretty. It's in there nicely. Yeah, right on. Great arm. <laughs> okay, so we got a couple brackets to go around here. Another bracket to go on here. Look at these instructions. Da -da 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 -da. Blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. Straps, straps, fasteners. B1, B2. What the hell is B1 and B2? B2, B2, B1. Okay. Right. Yeah, some brackets. Thick powder coating. I gotta drill that out a little bit. Too thick. The nut won't go in there, or the bolt, or the fastener. That's better. Now the bolt goes through the bracket. Nice that they powder coat this stuff, but yeesh. Okay, now I think put another bracket on there. Uh there. Alright. Straps. So I really will see what you're showing, blah blah blah. Just caution you not crush vehicle harness, blah blah blah. Obviously. Gotta make some adjustments here. <clears throat> All right, well I got that part figured out. They got them guys right there, them little U-bolts. Little U-bolts that hold that bracket on. Uh, this is on there, but this bracket, you know, when they manufacture stuff, things aren't gonna be always perfect. So I just had to tap this down. It was up, oh, about a three, no, about, about a half an inch. You just, I just tapped her down. And uh, bolted her in. Looks good in there. And, uh, I'd say she's in there pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that ain't going anywhere. That'll tow that machine up a hill. All right, moving right along. We gotta put, we gotta put a roller in here. 
Uh, I believe this bracket goes on here to protect that. And then, yeah, we put some rollers. Put the rollers down out front. I think there's uh, some mounting hardware here for it. Mm. Yeah, okay, moving right along. Next. Others. Supposed to be some sequence. One C clip. Ah ah ah. Now let's see if I can find one of my. Yeah. Not sure if mine goes small enough. Here maybe. Might be it. Okay, my junk pile has come to use. I've got some. You can't even see it, but I got some clips on there. Fit on there quite nicely. Oh, stupid kit. There's just one in this kit. I did not see any more on this counter anywhere. Not a fan. Spend all this money on something and the parts aren't even in the bag. The hardware. Out of everything, the hardware, the part that you need. This little baby right here. So you gotta take these two bolts out here, drop that in there, put the winch on there like that. I believe the winch goes under the roller on this side. Come on, I can't even get the roller in there. This thing's like squished flat. There we go. And then it comes out the front. Not bad. I was uh, actually concerned about the power steering. So this is a big power steering motor on here. And it, uh, Sort of runs the rack and pinion for the steering. Um, power steering on these is like an almost must. I, I didn't realize how good the power steering and the setup is. So this is sort of similar to a car, right? It's just an electric power assisting motor. But uh, I was concerned with the cable, maybe too close to the motor. But I mean, I got, geez, there's like two inches of, of play there. So not bad. So just gotta unbolt a couple bolts here to the frame and then set her down and. Tighten her up and we done.
All right, that is on there. You gotta say that looks pretty good. And she's tucked under there, good. You wouldn't even know when it'll keep the mud and stuff out of the reel. This part here isn't bolted on there yet. You gotta put the bumper on. I got the pieces up here on top of the trans and get the, the front nose part here has gotta be cut out a little bit. So this guy goes on there something like yay and you gotta you have to cut out part of the grill i think right here yes you can't see my finger so you got to cut this part out right here for that piece for this yeah, you can't see me again for this piece here but that's uh that's for another pro another day um yeah i'm gonna carry this video on though i'm, I'm not gonna make a quick one i'm gonna do the whole install we got the wires, we got to run the wires down along the frame, down below. And I'm gonna go right to the battery with these. No messing around. Not ideal to go right to the battery, but it's either right to the battery or right to the solenoid post. I'm thinking right to the uh, positive solenoid post. And then this is a big breaker. Interesting. Two, I guess, if you blow one, you got two. All right then. Okay, that's next. Wiring. I gotta say, that looks pretty sexy stuck in there. Ooh, and we'll throw this bumper back on here. We'll throw the hood back on. The hood fits down in there in the factory locale. And you wouldn't even know that winch was there. Right on.
another. So we got this guy here. This is just a big circuit breaker. So if it's pulling too much power, it'll pop these circuit breakers. Um, the only downside to this is it's all exposed. So this is just gonna have to get wrapped up in electrical tape. Look like a big sore thumb. But you want this as close to the battery as possible. Uh, I kind of disagree with that. I think it should be closer to the winch, but this is the way the setup is and this is what they want. So this is gonna go, I'm gonna put that on the starter solenoid post, which actually this machine needs a new one because I went to go run it the other day and it fired up and the starter kept running. Mosquitoes. Okay, let's throw this baby in there. All right, and the last component is the switch. So, buddy went out and got this fancy switch. It, I, I believe it's four Wildcats because it fits slots right in there. Yeah, and then a lock right in there. And I didn't like the connectors, so I put my own connectors on there. A little bit of shrink tubing. And I got the, I got a kind of redneck hooked up. I got the positive hooked up in that goofy looking thing just to test this thing out. All right, so I actually had to figure this switch out because uh, this is not meant for this winch, but I got the colors all figured out and I wrote them on there. So we got white, white here. Ah oh, yeah, those are nice tight fitting connectors now. We got white, we got red, and we got green. All right, I got her hooked up. See if we can make it work. So, I don't know how we're gonna be able to do this here. You can see the winch, Let's see. Winch in. Oh, winch in. Winch out. Winch out. I think, I think that's a winner. Yeah, baby. Right on. And this, just go right into here. And this just click right into place here. Hopefully I don't have to customize this hole. Oh, like that. Right on. Winch in, winch out. Hey, hey. <laughs> now all we gotta do is put all the plastic and crap back on it. Not bad, I think that looks pretty sexy tucked in there like that, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. The wire is all tucked nicely in there. So I was just saying I put a, a forgiveness loop right there. You can see the loop. I put that forgiveness loop in there so you can you know pull the wire back a little bit if you have to in the way that it's coiled and, and zip tied up. Okay, right on. Now see so you got putting that plastic stuff back on there. Alright, so the last thing we gotta do is we gotta cut a little bit of the bumper out 
So this can fit through there. So, Give me a pen, we're gonna mark this. And my marking device. can't see my mark, but I've got an area to cut out here. I'm gonna actually try to cut this just with a pair of side cutters. I don't think we need power tools or a Dremel or anything. Making lots of stink shop. Oh yeah, like he was made for it. Come back with a file and file it all down. Alright, not bad. Clean it up with a file, knock down these big edges, and throw it back on there. All cleaned up. No big nasty edges. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like it already. I'm gonna put this beauty on there. Ah. And that baby off the front. I think that looks pretty good on there. Ah, oh, you can't see it the heck I'm looking at. Okay. Right. down here. I think it looks pretty good. I have to say that looks pretty good on there. I'm gonna throw the plastic back on and yeah, that's it for the winch. I don't think you need to see me put the rest of the plastic and crap on there. There's gonna be some more videos, you'll see it all done here pretty quick. You gotta get gotta get some steering bushings. That oh Fingers in front of the camera. So there's some bushings in here. So there's two rails, I can't really see. And there's, it slides. There's uh, the actual steering part slides across these two rails. And the bushings are completely shot on it, worn out. I'm gonna do a video on that when the parts come in. But, uh, so I probably have to take a lot of this stuff off again, so I'm not gonna put too much on. But yeah, I think that looks pretty sexy. Nice and hidden. Then we throw the bumper on there, and you won't even know. You wouldn't even be able to tell if that was even there. That guy goes on top of there, and that guy's on there, and yeah, right arm. Another another project done. See ya. All right, of course I had to come back, take a shot of what it actually looks like all done and on there. And the hook is on there, and the big rubber nuggets on there. Oh yeah, baby. I did change the pin, and I put this uh, quick clip on there. So if you ever have to take it off for any reason, right, that just stops that pin from coming out. There's no actual pressure or anything forced against that. It's all on the pin. Yeah, she looks sexy, baby.
Right on, got everything back on there, got the wings, got the hood. Nothing's rubbing, everything looks good. Right on.